Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of this uh, 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 series. So we will be seeing about how to plot a shape file in our Python programming language. Uh, so before uh, jumping into our Python coding part, we, I will just let you know how to install this uh, package, the package we will be needing. So in this tutorial, we will be using uh, two packages. One is pandas and the other one is uh, geo pandas. So pandas is uh, especially to uh, maintain the 2d data which is uh, the data that we are going to plot and uh, the geopandas is for the spatial data so as usual uh, pip install geopandas so this is the uh, key, key line so this will be the key line on or if you run this statement it will install the rec, uh, necessary packages so here i'm going to install the geopandas so since I have already installed it, it is going to show the requirement is already satisfied. Yes, so uh, in case in your laptop if or in your system, if you haven't installed it, uh, it will install it uh, in your system. So now let's check whether it has been installed or not. So import geopandas. So now if I run this, it should not show any error. So you can see it is not showing any error. So let's uh, shorten this. So install import geopandas as gpd. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read my shape file which I have stored in my laptop. So let me save it in a variable name shp. So uh, I'm going to use this uh, geopandas uh, gpd dot um, read file. I think yeah, it's read file. So read file and I have to give the path. So if you see here i'm giving a name called r there so why i'm giving this python can't read wait a minute okay python can't read uh, won't read the path or the directory path when you with this slash so while you are using this slash you have to mention this r in front or you can use the other slash removing the r so let's check for any errors so okay uh, there are there is no error so if you see here there are a lot of uh, columns are there so let's reduce the number of columns here so how i'm going to do that so if you haven't uh, seen the pandas tutorial i request you to watch that because uh, without uh, seeing that you can't understand this so i'm calling the shape i'm assigning this shape and i'm going to declare what and all uh, the columns i need so I'm using a double bracket. This is square bracket. Yes, double square bracket. And I'm mentioning the name of the columns that I require. So I will be requiring the name. So which is the DT name, I think. Let me see. Yeah, DT name. And the other column is my geometry. So geometry is the important column. So these two columns are enough for me to plot. So let's run this and check what happens. So yeah, you can see here only those two columns are separated and now we have a shape file with only those two columns. So now uh, let's uh, read our uh, shape file. So this has only the shape file and uh, what actually I didn't uh, mention you what I'm going to do uh, actually. So in this tutorial, I will be mapping the literacy uh, rate. So literacy rate of uh, each districts in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is a state in India. So I'm going to map that. I just got or uh, read the shape file of Tamil Nadu uh, with the district partitions. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the literacy data. So I think uh, it's here. So this has the literacy uh, data. So let's copy its path first. So now I'm going, I will be needing the pandas package. So import pandas as p. So now let's read the csv file so let's save it in a, in a variable called data data is equal to pd dot read csv so since that is a csv i am going to just put it like that so if you see here it, it i don't have to put that r here because the slash is already uh, appropriate so now let's run and check what's happening so yeah i have this thing so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to here i have a district and literacy uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to sum or group them so to avoid redundancy in this data 
so let me open this data so in order to get rid of this index i have to make sure uh, these pick these are the index and uh, these are the only values to avoid redundancy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group them by a method called data is equal to data dot oup group by um i think i have to mention the column name no i just have to mention data group by ah uh, yeah i have to mention the column name which is district i think it's district here so district is this district and what i should how i should group i should sum them up so in case there are two uh, for example if there are two chennai uh, in my uh, data so what it will do it will add those two so that is this sum so let me run and check for errors it should not show any error is very good so if you now see this we uh, this we have only this two we have get rid of that index so what now we have to do is uh, we have an important task that is now we have uh, two uh, uh, two variables one is our data and another one is our shape file now we have to check for any uh, missing so for example if uh, i have this shape file and this data so what should happen is that dt name the district name should match with uh, this di district uh, name so in the, uh, let me check that and uh, i will say how to check that so for that we have to make a loop and pass uh, pass the individual names there so for index comma in data dot iter rows iter rows so what this statement means is index is so this one will be our index this is our main thing so this will be my index so for index comma row row means each row in a data dot iter rows so data so this is the data so this is only the uh, variable that we are going to read and iter row is a function of the uh, pandas data frame so what i'm going to do is i'm do going to check if the this index so this index will every time it loops the index will have the name index will take the place of the uh, district name in the data so if index not in such in of dt to list okay so now what is uh, i am doing is i am just uh, here i am looping for the index so if this index is not uh, the name of is not any of the names of this names in the shape file then what do you do you just say print print index not in shape so else pass so if uh, nothing if uh, if those matches then pass if they do not match then print the print that index name so let me run this so since everything has uh, matched it is not a showing error in case if any of the names is not matching then it will show this error here so you will see this uh, in the name in the place of the index you will see uh, uh, then uh, mismatched names name coming with a uh, name not in shape so now since everything is matched let's let's get rid of this or comment this so now now is the most important part so i just uh, didn't mention our important function of this shape file which is plot so the main function of this theo pandas is you can plot data so why i am using this spider notebook if you have seen here i am using this spider this will help us to view plots so that's a separate column for us in plot so now let me show you if i now put shape dot plot 
you can see this it it will get printed it should yeah so you can see my tamil nadu so this is the tamil nadu shape file you can see that is getting uh, printed here so now but uh, this uh, shape file has no attributes it has only the district name so now i have so i have to merge these two data i mean this data variable which has uh, the literacy rate and the shape file i have to merge them so let's create a variable called merge variable called merge and let uh, and i'm going to use the function called join so this join will help us to match i mean join two data frames a uh, geo pandas data frame with the pandas data frame so merge is equal to uh, data dot join i think it's shp dot join so let's uh, see what is happening so data dot join uh, and i have to put uh, the name of the variable here <coughs> what is the variable now it's shp i think it is a uh, shape file dot join so shp dot join data on what on the name of my column the district name so if i run this it should not show any error Uh, yeah it's not showing any error so now let's plot this merge merge dot plot so you can see we are getting the same plot because we didn't mention any uh, thing about on what data it should plot so now what we are going to do is we are going to tell on what uh, data it should plot it so let me mention the column name c o l u column is equal to on what column it should plot if you go to the variable explorer we have the column literacy so on literacy data we have to plot so literacy okay uh, literacy and the next thing what we have to mention is what is uh, something called cmap which is chloropeth map so we are getting a complete blue color here right so if we have to mention any particular color we can mention it here so i'm going to mention this blue green so this is a code so you can refer to this code in online of uh, the documentation of the geo pandas so the next thing is a uh, cmap then you can also put a legend but uh, uh, let's talk about it in another tutorial uh, here i'm going to put uh, the h with h color right yeah h color h color is going to be black next is line width so the line width is going to be since it's a float you can just Point 0.5 and let's close this and now we will check here yeah now we got our final map so if you see here we have our literacy data which is being plotted here so based on since i have given this blue green color it is showing it in the green color the edges are black you can see that and the line with line with this 0.5 so uh, this is one of the ways that you can plot our data so uh, you can also save this so i think it is a uh, two file so i can merge dot so i have uh, obtained the data now how to save this data so merge dot to to file so if you mention the path here so let's take the same path or let me put it in this output or um, copy sorry copy the absolute path so when you paste the absolute path you don't have to mention that r and i have to mention the name of the file name here so let's output dot shp 
so output dot shp now if i run this it should not show any error okay it's not showing any error so it is not showing here maybe i should refresh where is that refresh button okay let's go and check it in that uh, direct itself So you can see here output uh, we have got the output shape file shp data here so this is how you will map or you will process a data a shape file uh, in uh, python so you can kindly wait for the other videos on how to use a uh, satellite data uh, in python kindly stay tuned if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section unless then uh, see you thank you